What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to play One Punch Man World on your Windows PC or Mac. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. To play One Punch Man World on your PC, you must use an Android emulator such as Bluestacks. Bluestacks is a popular choice to play mobile games on your PC, as it's optimized for playing mobile games. Click on the first link in the description to get to this page. From here, download the Bluestacks 5 setup installer to your system. This should take a second to complete and you can follow the install wizard to install the application to your system. After the installation is complete, Bluestacks should open up automatically. Next, open up your Play Store and ensure you're logged in with your Google account. Search for One Punch Man World and download the game to your Bluestacks emulator. This might take a few minutes to complete, depending on your network connection. While downloading the game, you should take a look at your emulator settings. Click on this gear icon to access these settings. In the Gamepad section, enable the Gamepad Detection option. This will allow Bluestacks to recognize and receive input from your controller if you decide not to use your mouse and keyboard. Below, set the Gamepad input settings to automatic and set the Gamepad vibration option to your personal preference. It may not have any effect on One Punch Man World. After connecting your controller or gamepad, it will be recognized by Bluestacks and show up as an alternative to your keyboard and mouse. In the Performance tab, you should set these according to your PC's performance. Allocate a high amount of CPU cores if you don't have a lot of other applications running in the background. The same goes for your memory allocation. For users with 4GB or less RAM, set this option to low. Under Performance Mode, make sure to set this option to Balanced. This will reduce the memory and CPU usage if your PC lags or you otherwise encounter low performance. I prefer to enable the High FPS option and set the frame rate of the emulator according to my screen refresh rate. If you need more clarification on your refresh rate, right-click your desktop and select Display Settings. From here, make sure that the correct display is selected. Scroll down and click on Advanced Display. This will allow you to preview your refresh rate and change it. Also, if you troubleshoot performance issues, enable the FPS Counter option. Set the display orientation to landscape in your display settings and choose a fitting resolution to play One Punch Man World on your monitor. You can also adjust the size of this window by dragging its corners. You can leave the other settings to the default option and play One Punch Man World to see how well it runs on your PC. After logging into your account, head to your in-game settings. Adjust the gameplay setting to your liking. And in the video settings section, make sure to adjust these to your PC's performance. I will set the resolution to original and the refresh rate option to 120. This will be set to no limit by default, which can cause lag on some PCs. Reduce the image quality to high or medium if you experience low performance, as well as special effects and reflections. Disable anti-aliasing and lower the NPC density to medium for even more performance. After adjusting these settings to your liking, click on the keyboard icon in your Bluestacks menu bar. Make sure the Game Controls option is enabled, which will show you the default keyboard layout for the game if the on-screen controls option is enabled. Access your Controls Editor to change this layout. Add controls, such as a D-pad on the left side to control your character with a controller. You can adjust the size and buttons of your D-pad or other controls. Make sure to save your changes when you are done. These steps and more information will be available in our extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.